If I'm being honest, I think that general society takes being healthy for granted. I personally think that my immune system is pretty strong and is more trustworthy than the Justice League. I try to stay as sanitary as possible and take appropriate precautions, but sometimes my immune system gets caught lacking like when Gary caught SpongeBob watching explicit anatomy flicks. But when those moments happen, it feels like I'm a prisoner in my own body. All I can do is sit there and hope that this isn't my season finale and I get delivered to the Lord in 3-5 to five business days like an Amazon package. So today, we'll be discussing the adversity and precarious predicaments that come with being sick. Comment down below the worst part about being sick and like subscribe if you're new. First we gotta talk about headaches. There's nothing like having your head pounding like a retro boombox. Like every nerve in my head becomes more sensitive than the average Twitter user. Any bright light that I come in contact with fries my optic nerves like some onion rings. That's why when I'm sick I try to keep the room darker than the bottom of Aiden Ross's feet. And the smallest movement would set my head off like a stick of dynamite. Like it legitimately hurts to think when I've got a headache bro. And it's not just a normal migraine, it deadass feels like somebody used me as a fucking battering ram. It feels like my head is about to fall clean off my shoulders like an orange off a tree or something. And I know y'all know when you've got a headache so bad that you can deadass feel your heart beat in the back of your noggin bro and then you start trying to massage your head but to no avail it feels like a nigga used my head as a magic a ball bro and apparently i also gained the hearing of a fucking german shepherd because i become more sensitive to sound like the smallest noise causes my head to start buzzing like a bumblebee now we gotta talk about having a running nose Probably the most annoying part about being sick. I'm in my bed sniffing like a damn cokehead. And then my sneezing sounds like fucking machine gun fire, bro. Straight spamming sneeze combos. And afterwards, my nose can give Rudolph a run for his fucking money. I go through more tissues in the end cell with internet access. Before I realize I've gone through the entire box of tissues in less time than it takes teachers to put it in F in the grade book. Every time I get sick, my nose starts impersonating Niagara Falls, bro. And then the times where your nose isn't running like Speedy Gonzalez, your nostrils are stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey, bro. We never realize how privileged we are to be able to breathe through both nostrils. But when I'm sick, one of my nostrils are plugged up like a charger port so then i try to turn my head to the other side and that does nothing but seal my other nostril off like an air vent and now i gotta breathe through my mouth like brainy from hey arnold and then when you're sleeping the mucus tries to suffocate you in your sleep and your life flashes before your eyes but by far one of the most relieving experiences that a human organism can experience is that split second when both your nostrils clear up like a sunny day only for it to come back when you lay down and as y'all know when you can't breathe through your nose all access to your taste buds are blocked off so now i can't even enjoy the little bit of food that i'm able to consume this is like kicking the dead horse i'm already going through so much agony and discomfort but now i can't even taste anything something else worth mentioning is my lack of appetite it's like i'm hungry as hell but too weak to eat now we gotta talk about feeling weak this is really when I start thinking my time on earth has concluded. My strength level is lower than Chet Holmgren's. It feels like I've been trampled by a fucking car or something, bro. My entire body aches from head to toe, but especially my legs. It feels like I just got done finished squatting 500 pounds. My legs that has turned to jelly. Like, I assume this is how Gumby feels all the time, bro. I can barely get out of bed and go to the bathroom. It literally feels like my body is decaying like some type of beefsteak. I just don't know a better way to describe the feeling other than feeling rotten. And it's even worse because I'm bedridden for pretty much the entire time, bro. And because of this, my spinal cord feels like Bane to hit my ass with a backbreaker. And I know y'all already know about when your body temperature starts fluctuating like james harden's weight you try to put your cover on and now you start boiling like a lobster bro but then you take it off and now it feels like ice came up burning me with all type of incursions now i gotta try to find the perfect way to align the blanket on myself and then no matter how much sleep i get i'm always tired it's similar to when you buy a charger from a corner store and the phone shows that it's charging but their battery continues to die i wish i could get every day that i was ever sick back it just feels like days being wasted now we gotta talk about missing school now usually i would be the biggest advocate for missing school but when it comes at the expense to my health i have second thoughts it's already bad enough that i'm fighting for my fucking life at the crib but when i do eventually come out to class i've got the largest abundance of work to make up and that's only if my teachers have morals because these niggas will often just let motherfuckers take the fall for missing school days i remember back in 2020 when the pandemic had first hit when niggas were working from the crib like way low and the only thing teachers cared about was us turning in our work talking about make sure you submit your essay before midnight the late work will not be accepted my nigga i'm trying to survive fuck all that and i'm pretty sure we've all gotten sick and missed a day of school and it turns out that there were 12 fights ice spice performed in the cafeteria and there was a field trip to disney world and i hope i'm not the only one who checks the time on their phone is like i'd be in fourth period right now but i'd rather be sick at home than sick at school because at least when i'm sick at the crib i can try to recover in peace but trying to make it through the school day with one of these symptoms is worse than roseanne's music as most of y'all know school is a fucking breeding ground for germs so when one person would get sick it would spread like a rumor these niggas at school would sneeze in their hands and immediately go open a door and dab up every nigga in existence and you already know if you go to see the school nurse she's gonna give you a pat on the back and a fucking ice pack like you could literally be five minutes away from watching elvis perform live and they'll just give you a band-aid and an ice pack wrapped in some brown paper towel now we gotta talk about vomiting now it was very rare for me to eject the contents on my stomach but the few times that it has happened it was some of the most traumatic moments of my life there are a few things in life that give me this anxious this shit genuinely scares me bro i start sweating like i just finished a fucking pacer test or something and then my mouth starts salivating enough to fill up a pool the same thing happens with my eyes and they start watering uncontrollably and is it me or is the buildup of throwing up worse than the actual action of puking and i swear i only felt like this in the middle of the fucking night so now i'm running a four flat to the toilet this is when i know the worst is yet to come so now i'm just waiting for the inevitable 
inevitable to commence. I'm trying not to make any sudden movements to trigger the time bomb that is in my stomach. But after that harrowing incident's over, it feels like I can climb fucking Mount Everest with my bare hands or something, bro. I'm feeling full of life and got more vitality than the Energizer Rabbit. I also hated when niggas would throw up at school and the smell contaminates every oxygen cell within an 800 foot radius. And now the custodian has to pour that vomit powder on the ground and shit, bro. Now we gotta talk about coughing. Probably the most painful part about being sick. It's not even a matter of if, it's a matter of when and for how long. Cause for me personally, I'll just be sitting in bed trying to ride out this disease and all of a sudden my lungs wanna fucking implode and start throwing haymakers at me. Like these ain't no boozy ass coughs that the average person does to clear out their throat or something. I'm talking full blown iPad kid level coughs, bro. And now I'm over here wheezing like I just took the world's largest vape or something. My lungs that I feel like somebody used a finishing move on me. Not to mention this shit damn near makes me throw up all over again. So now it's just a never ending cycle of infirmity, bro. And plus when I'm out in public, I try not to cough more than like three times because niggas are gonna think that I have all types of diseases. Now we gotta talk about having a sore throat. Pause. Probably the most relatable part of this video. I think it's universally known that if you wake up with a sore throat, that you better start writing your will because this is only the beginning. A sore throat is like the bad signal of being sick. It's to prepare you for the torment and bitterness you're gonna have to go through for the next couple days. But every time this happens, I try to drink some water to see if I really have a sore throat or if it's just drier than Katie's hair. But once I find out that my hypothesis is correct, I just sit and wait for the symptoms to kick in a maximum overdrive. It's common knowledge to stay hydrated when you're sick, but that becomes Tom Cruise Mission Impossible with the sore throat, bro. It feels like I got barbed wire around my throat, bro. Not to mention when I try to talk i sound like fucking chewbacca now we gotta talk about the different tactics and strategies to try to get better the next segment that i'm about to recount needs no prior introduction everybody and their mama knows that canada dry is the holy grail when it comes to being sick this shit is like an instant healing potion in minecraft bro when i was sick fuck going to the doctors and spending a damn college tuition for a checkup pass me a can of canada dry or verners and i'll be back to business in no time that fizz would nuke away all the pain in my throat bro i don't know what they put in that stuff but it needs to be studied by harvard students and obviously we got the chicken noodle soup and crackers it didn't matter if it was homemade or from a campbell's can that shit was hitting either way and the only medicine that I taken when I was sick was Tylenol and that shit tasted like intrusive thoughts bro that shit was so nasty and most of the time it wouldn't even work I don't know how rappers be down in cough syrup and shit like chug jugs that's why these niggas be built like they five months pregnant but anyway instead of predominantly using medicine I had to drink all these different teas bro also shout out to the game shows for holding it down when I was sick every time I was sick I would turn to an old head and start binge watching these ancient game shows and you better not let your parents catch you laughing or showing any signs of recuperation because at that point in the eyes of your parents you've already made a full recovery like the moment I crack a smile they gonna talk about I thought you were sick like damn you want me to just throw myself in the grave side note if you ever feel like you're having any of the symptoms listed in this video do not google anything the internet will tell you that you better start picking out your casket and saying goodbye to your loved ones but i think that's gonna wrap everything up for this video man comment down below the worst part about being sick as well as other video ideas y'all want to see from me in the future whatever content you know what I'm saying? what else y'all want to see man we, we going crazy 2023 takeover is in full effect baby let's get it thank y'all for all the constant love and support um i never take any of it for granted um i'm just i'm just Super blessed and grateful to be able to put, be put in this position to entertain y'all. You know what I'm saying? I hope this video finds you in good spirits. I'm G Grimy. It's been real. I'm out. I love y'all. Peace.